Hi Aries, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of June the 26th to July the 3rd. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card for every single day of the week cannot apply to every single person in the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I can give that to you in a private reading. So if you want to go up there and press on that button, it will take you to my website where you, where you will be able to see the services that I offer and to schedule an appointment with me, either for a private reading or a Reiki session. See you soon. We start our week on Monday, Aries, with an Earth card, and you have been given the two of earth. Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives, often our jobs, careers, and professions, and how we bring that into our lives. But it can have to do with Mother Earth and the ecosystem. It is the earth card and our closest circle, which is our immediate family or people we consider close enough to be that. This is telling me, though, that some of you are working way too hard and you need to make a decision right now. When you make this decision, uh, I want you to make it in a lighter, more playful uh, way. Take a playful, more lighter approach. Don't get all worked up. Don't go in there with your guns blaring and do not please be judgmental or aggressive. This is all about an awful lot going around uh, in some of your lives right now at the beginning of the week, Aries. On Tuesday, you've been given the Three of Fire. And fire cards have to do with setting our creative juices in motion. And sometimes that involves taking risks we don't normally take or going places we normally wouldn't go. It is about our own personal self-development, though. This is a great card. This is telling me that there's good coming in. There's abundance coming in. And things are looking very good at this time. You need to be patient as this is coming into you. Because when it arrives, this abundance gets to you, you're going to be able to make long-term plans. I do see that with some of you, it will be in the form of currency. It will be in the form of money. Crowning your week on Wednesday, you've been given a major card and this is a life experience. And this tells me that some of you have had an event that was like a wake up call happen to you. And it's all about you making some major life changes right now. And you realize uh, that uh, it's, it's almost it's pretty much taken place for a lot of you, you know, and I see it as a significant life event. It was a powerful revelation that will lead you to some major change where you're going to be able to spread your wings and do things that you've wanted to do on your own and independently. Um, it was a moment of freedom and awakening to some of you. So it's now allowing you to follow your heart's desire and your own intuition. Again, things are happening very quickly and it's like time's running out. Everything's moving very rapidly right now in that direction on your path. High Priestess, another major card for Thursday. And the High Priestess is all about you keeping things to yourself right now, okay? Um, don't let all your secrets and all the information that you have within your heart's desire out to everybody all at once. You need to have patience right now because they tell me that uh, there's uh, things that you want answers to and you know there's things going on behind your back right now too. Be patient because everything you want to know and you need to know is going to be revealed to you and it's, but it's going to be revealed to you at the right time. Also, I want you to consider carefully what you do before you act upon it right now. Okay? Have patience. On Friday, you've been given a water card, the Queen of Water. And water cards are our relationship cards. And sometimes they're intimate and romantic, and other times they're not. But this does show me that there is a relationship some of, some of you are in, and it's developing to a new level. And it's all about you trusting your own intuition now, how you, uh, how you perceive uh, this individual, how you look at this individual um, right now, and how you're caring for them and how they're caring for you. That's how this, uh, this um, relationship's going to uh, advance forward. Night of Water for Saturday. So, a night of air probably. We just did water. So air is all about um, people bringing in that injustice where you have to be faced with making fair and just decisions and choices that are determined around these people that stir the pot up and bring that kind of challenge into you. But it is an air card and air cards have to do with the legal system too. So perhaps some of you are dealing with lawyers, signing of contracts, partnerships, courts, whatsoever like that. 
tells me that there's an event that's going to come into you because this is the Knight of Air and he charges in on his steed at great speed. I do see an event coming in at great speed to you as well. When it arrives on your doorstep or your desk or wherever, you need to take time and review all your options, okay? Because I know you can do this because they show me that uh, the solution to this is going to be uh, brought in because of your creativity. Last day of the week, Sunday, you've been given another water card, and this is the page of water. And this is telling me that there is a new person that's going to enter into your life. And this person may be uh, a male or a female, a little bit younger than you. They're going to be intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly individual. And th there's something about this individual that you didn't know, that they had feelings for you. Because this relationship begins a new phase in your life. You weren't aware that this individual had these feelings towards you. I also see others tapping into your own psychic abilities. They're becoming more attuned and more heightened. Some of you are getting interested in, uh, in you know, maybe uh, getting into doing readings yourself, getting into uh, different modalities of natural healing, uh, getting involved in the power and the healing uh, energy of crystals and uh, pendulums and even cards like me. At the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one Ascended Masters card and how ironic that it came up after this page of water, you've been given artistic expression. So I do see some of you tapping into your own creativity. Perhaps you're going to get into something that's spiritual uh, and divine led and walking your own path of enlightenment as well. But those of you that are actually involved in uh, art, music, um, you know, theater, any of these things that you find creative or things that you can do with your hands. I do see some of you tapping into your artistic expression now and being able to allow that to come forward. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to, Aries. Again, I leave you with another quote. And the quote I chose today is this. Success isn't about how much money you make. Success is about the difference you make in people's lives. See you again next week, my friend, and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you.